This video is in collaboration with Qualcomm Technologies, especially because we needed the Snapdragon Sight camera's abilities in 7th gen Qualcomm AI engine to capture this experiment in its best light, literally. On the table here, I have six mini fans, and in the center of those fans, I have a steel plate with a pan with some methanol in it. And if I turn on all the fans and light up our combustible liquid, we get this. This awesome spiral of fire that is truly mesmerizing. And here's how this all works. When I light the flammable liquid in the center of this pan, we get a scenario where the fire is heating the air around this area. And because hot air is less dense than cool air, this new heat source allows both the air, fire, and hot combusted gases to rise rapidly. Next, when I turn on the fans, this creates a spiral of air that both spins the fire and also allows the new rotating fire to pull in cool air at the base. As this cycle continues, where the air is combusted, spins, and rises, the result of all this happening is a beautiful fire tornado. And while this looks really cool, what's even cooler is when you change the color of the fire. If we add boric acid to our methanol, we get this incredibly cool, vibrant green color. So the reason why it's the color green is because there is boron in boric acid, and boron in its raw elemental form burns green. So if we throw this into the mini fire tornado machine, we get this. Also, I'm shooting this on a Samsung S22 Ultra camera powered by Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 mobile platform with Snapdragon Sight technology and the 7th Gen Qualcomm AI engine. It's super hard to capture the flame in a low light setting, but with this tech, we can record extreme dynamic range that lets us see the color of the fire in 4K HDR or super sharp 8K. This makes us see the tornado much closer to how the fire looks in person. Now, we can achieve another color by dissolving lithium in methanol. Now, while I love this mini demonstration, I always wanted to see a supersized version. And I did try this once with T-Core, but we had a lot of problems with inconsistency within our fan circle. Our fire in the center was pretty haphazard, and we had atmospheric winds, which resulted in a lot of time trying to make something tornado-y, but with no grand slam. And because we're nerdy perfectionists, I wanted to have another go at this. Now, for this reason, I decided to build a larger fire tornado device. This should not only hold our flammable liquid better, but it would also give us a metric of distance to create a perfect circle with our fans. This build was put together with my buddy Rob, and the fans were donated from Grace from T-Core. So the next problem to solve is reducing atmospheric winds. For this reason, I had my good friend Matt book us a location where the wind is blocked on almost all sides. So because I did this last time with T-Core, I thought it only made sense to do it with him again. So I invited up my good friend, Grace. That's me! <laughs> I'm so stoked to be here! That's a me! That's a me! Grace! <laughs> So we have our fire tornado device set up. We wanted to do some tests before we get into the color. And so we decided to use gasoline. And so we just want to do that first so we can adjust the fans. So we get the fans exactly where they should be before we start doing the color. The thing that I think is like the best part about this is that it's really confirmation that the fire tornado device works. Like we're getting yes. a really tight tornado. It's not yes. wonky. It's just like straight up into the sky. And I think it's right for the next step. Yeah, so now we're gonna move on to the boric acid and methanol, which should give us a very vibrant green color. 
for these next ones, we need to film in a low light setting, as methanol doesn't burn as bright as gasoline. So in order to really capture the absolute beauty of these next colored fire tornadoes, we're going to film this again, but with the Samsung S22 Ultra, powered by Snapdragon 8 with the 7th gen Qualcomm AI engine and Snapdragon Sight technology. This tech allows us to shoot in this low light setting, but get a crystal clear image. And that's because Snapdragon 8 allows us to record insane details in over a billion shades with 4K HDR video capture and AI powered low light models and noise removal algorithms on the AI Qualcomm engine. Yeah. yeah. Add a little piece at a time, go ahead and just toss it in there. Yep. Dude, that's wild! Yeah. This is crazy. This looks like Piranha Solution, even though it's I know. not. I know. It's, it's wicked. It's literally crazy. So we were really impressed with the pink. I was blown away. It honestly it looked so awesome. So we figured because we have pink and we have green, we kind of want to see what happens when you mix them together. You so. have to. <laughs> you can't just let it be separate. Yeah, so we're just going to kind of throw it in there and kind of make a watermelon style fire tornado. Oh my God. Look at it. So we have the pink. Right? And then we have the green and they're kind of fighting. Look at them! And they're like blending. It's like, whoa. Look at the base. How so it's see? There's like, oh, oh. No, 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 now it's pink. What a win! We really did. Like, honestly, like, the fire tornado device worked almost perfectly. It didn't block the fire on either side because it was just shallow enough to hold the flammable liquid. Yes. And we could really see how the fire was spinning and it was sucking in the air. And we got both colors and both colors at once. Which was wild. I think it's so amazing how so the weird. air was able to intake so much easier. You could hear it. Yes, it literally was roaring. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> glad I got to experience the lithium and that pink. The pink was so hot pink. And like the green was so vibrant, like it just- It uh, was perfect. So awesome. The chef's kiss. Yeah. All right, we did it. We were able to take the Fire Tornado device and put it in the proper setting to get a giant multicolored Fire Tornado. We were also able to capture it so well because of Snapdragon 8's AI engine and Qualcomm Spectra ISP. It looked so good, it looks like it's CGI. Click the link in the description to learn more about the Qualcomm Snapdragon tech that allowed us to capture this experiment so incredibly well. 